fight for this land will not be an easy one, TJ. Yeah, I know that, Cole. Well, we're back. And... Wow, that is extremely loud. Let me turn that down a tiny bit. There we go. Alright, so we're back and... We have made a bunch of new additions to the base. Okay, so let me... Um, for one, I'll start with me. I got a full set of diamond armor not that long ago from my good ally Coltrane, which I was just quoting a second ago in the chat. Right there. We're talking about uh, a plan that I can't really say much about right now and I've done a little bit more of the faction and made this area just open to me and foe yes cool and it looks like no one has found us quite yet yes cool Um, and that's a good thing that nobody has found us. Got a nice view of, uh, of this nice mountain region. Yes, many will perish, Cole. I do know that. Remember. Remember what, Cole? Tell me. The candle that burns twice as bright. It's half as long. Well said. Okay, <laughs> I'm getting kind of sidetracked here. So we um, completed the whole tower with obsidian, and it looks a lot better now. It looks a lot more menacing now. It looks almost like an evil base, but we're definitely not an evil faction. Just gotta have the best materials we can get. And I really like the look of it actually. Almost it looks very very similar to the uh the Lord of the Rings Tower, I forget the name of it, uh I can't think of the name of it. It looks like that one. <laughs> Let's hope that this war is not needed. It is needed, believe me. It is need, believe me. Let me fix that up. There we go. And it's a great little watchtower that Foe and me built. Foe Slick Warrior, me. And, um, yeah, it's a very nice area. Okay, that's the addition to the watchtower that we built. I'll show the outside of what this space looks like in a little bit. Looks pretty sick from the outside. Um, I found ten diamonds in the time between films and um, made a whole bunch of golden apples and I just got some more um, armor so I can put that enchanted armor I had away and that's uh, Foslick's chest. Doesn't have anything. And, yeah. Uh, upstairs, I showed this last time, we have the conference table and the... Oop, conference table and the big Highland H behind it. And then here's the new addition we're making, which this area is going to become the, the rooms of the base for everybody in the faction. And... Um, and uh, we're gonna fill that this this first layer um, right here with obsidian. So if we were attacked, no one could mine under and get through. And then the second layer will be made out of whatever the person in the room chooses to. And um, yeah, it should make the base a little bit more homely feeling. And 
Um, that's about all in the base that um, has been made so far. And if we go outside here, um, let's see what this thing looks like from far away. Ah, uh, the last, uh, oh yeah, I gotta show off my sh sword too. Uh, the last episode, me and Hax traveled to, um, Cole's base, which wasn't actually his base, it was like false coordinates, and we were killed by a guy that went to those coordinates to raid him when we were going there just for a peaceful encounter to see if he was there and um i lost that uh, whole bunch of xp that i had and a nice diamond sword and um i didn't like that that was mean so later in the night i went to video the leader of fluent pvp's uh, xp grinder and I got um, to level 40 and enchanted my sword to this, the Smite 5 Diamond Sword. And I'm guessing, I'm not guessing, I know for a fact that Smite 5 uh, does 5 more damage uh, to zombies, zombie pigmen, and skeletons. So it's a pretty good sword. Not something I would prefer, I'd rather get like knockback 5 or something, but it, it's pretty good. And here's what our base looks like from far away. It looks pretty epic, if I don't say so myself. I mean, it it's pretty menacing if you'd come across this, just floating up there, and you saw that epic base. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all. That's pretty much all the base update that I have. All right. Um, let's go ahead and do one round of mob uh, arena which gives you 20 bucks every round and it's kind of like a survival game type in minecraft which i really enjoy actually and it gives you iron ingots and stuff that you need you have to clear your inventory completely then you type join ma join arena 2 yeah there we go Okay, so how this thing works is you choose one of these classes and um, you fight an ongoing reign of zombies and tons of stuff. And you can choose between the knight, which will give you a diamond sword, a complete set of iron armor, and three potions. Oh, looks like I'm going to play with this guy. Um, tank gives you full diamond armor and a iron sword. Archer gives you um, obviously a bow and some arrows and it gives you leather armor and a stone sword. Chemist gives you a bunch of potions and a gold axe and Dwarf gives you a diamond axe and uh, three whatever um, uh, health potions. And I'm going to choose Dwarf because we're the Dwarves of old and that is what we are doing. Alright, you ready G-Slice? You ready to do this? Let's do this shit, man. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. Flag. Let, oh. Come on. Let's go, man. Oh, I can't even get out of that chat to tell him the flag. Come on, flag is ready, man. Come on, bro. Let's go. Come on. Come on, G-Slice. G-Slice. I don't think he can hear me because I'm in the faction chat. I'm hitting it. I don't know why. Um, it's not working though. Oh, that's why. There's another one in here. Let's go.